Hey guys, welcome to workout two. Okay, in this workout, you're gonna need two dumbbells and if you have available, a pull-up bar, all right? If you wanna get straight into the workout, if this is your second or third uh, workout, you can just jump to that, that timestamp and get straight into the heart raiser. All right, we're gonna go through the same fashion like we did in workout one, heart raiser dynamic stretch. Okay, we'll then go through a quick tutorial. I'll show you if this is your first time here. All right, and then we'll get straight into the session. Okay, so our heart raiser, we're gonna go for three minutes like we did in session one. All right, just need a little bit of space and we're just gonna follow me. Here we go, three, two, one, and, and just jogging on the spot. Okay, really, really easy. Okay, get yourself nice and loose. Nice, just slowly getting blood flow around the body any way you want. Nice, good. If you want to copy me, I wouldn't because I'm just doing some random stuff. <laughs> All right, good. Loads of variations of star jumps. Love me a good star jump. I'm sure you hit them though. Don't know why. Doing a Scottish accent. All right, keep it going. Good. You can move around in that smaller, smaller area you have. 90 seconds gone and 90 to go. Good. Keep it up guys. I'm actually gonna come down to the ground for the last bit and just do some stuff in a plank position. This is good for warming up the shoulders. Good, back into standing. Got 30 seconds. Excellent job guys, good, 20 seconds. Remember for those last 10 seconds, we're just gonna do something a little bit faster. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go into some high knees. Keeping my body nice and upright. Three. Two, one, good, excellent. Nice, grab yourself a quick drink, okay? And we're gonna get straight into some dynamic stretches. First one, we're gonna come down onto one knee. Leg is directly out to the side, foot pressed down into the ground. Hands are gonna be in front. You're going to rock back. So from side on, you can see I rock back. And then gonna reach my hand through and open up. And then I'm just gonna repeat that a few times. Good, so you should feel nice and warm at this point. Switch sides. Make sure we wanna push that side down into the ground, push the straight leg. Straight foot down into the ground. This bit's important. We always wanna make sure we have a nice good stretch before we go into any intense work. Okay, next one. Walk your hands out. 
going to go into what we call a downward dog, yoga type move. You're going to kick one leg up in the air and then let it peel over to the opposite side. Okay, from there, step through with that leg. Okay, and just get, feel a little bit of hip flexor stretch and then come back. Put it on the other side. Oh, that feels good. All right, and open up. Lovely. I'm just going to do one more of those each side. You can do more if you want. You can always pause the video. So, and do whatever stretches really that you, that work for you. Lovely. Next one, leg cradle. So standing on one leg, you should always lean up against a wall if you're struggling for balance. You're gonna grab the leg and just pull it up towards you, feel a nice stretch underneath your bum there. And just do a quick couple of pulls. And then the last one is gonna be more of a balance but also a stretch, slightly bend the knee, and then arms out to the side. You can do between three and five of these. That's great. And then switch legs. Awesome, well done guys. Okay, you wanna grab another drink? That's fine, so it's at this point that you wanna to jump to that, to the start, first round, if you're in your second, third, fourth session. All right, if you're first time here, we're gonna run through the tutorial, okay? So, two dumbbells, all right? Now, again, use the tutorial to figure out the movement technique and to go through, uh, to figure out how much weight to actually use. So for the first movement, all right, we're gonna be looking at a split stance. So one foot is gonna be in front of the other and usually it's about a foot length away. So I just need to come back about a foot length away. And I'm going to be slightly bending the legs. My emphasis is gonna be on this front leg, not on the back leg. And from there, I'm going to hinge from my hips, okay? And then pulling myself up, making sure I get hip extension before knee extension the weight stays over the front foot. So that looks with two dumbbells here. Slowly push my hips back. I don't want to round and I don't want to arch my back too much and I definitely don't want to pull up with my spine. Okay, I want to use my hamstring here. All right, and I'll feel that kind of at the back of my, my, my leg and then on the way up, using the glutes and the hips to extend. So if I switch legs there, we're going to be doing reps on each leg through there. Okay, so five exercises in this circuit. We've got six of those each leg. We've then got something called a renegade row, which is basically a push-up, all right, with your hands on the dumbbells, okay? So make sure you've got enough space in between. Regular push-up, and then we pull one and two. Okay, we wanna try and make sure we don't have too much of a hip shift. So you can see I've taken my stance a bit wider. If I keep my knees and uh, my feet together, I'm going to want to tilt. So that's your renegade row. We've then got a lateral lunge and a pull. So a lateral lunge is literally like a side lunge. So make sure you've got enough space either side of you. Hands are gonna start either side. When I step and I lunge to this point, my outside hand stays on the outside, but then the inside hand doesn't stay there. It comes to the inside and it goes either side of that front leg. Then when I step back in, I pull up. So down and pull up. So it's like an explosive push, boom. And an explosive pull up. All right, and we complete six reps each side. At this point, if you have a pull-up bar, all right, you would just go, some people have them connected to the door. If you're doing this outside, jump on the pull-up bar and five pull-ups. I will just complete, like, obviously there's no way I can show you on this. All right, there's nowhere to do them, but I will just put in, all right, how I want you to do the pull-ups. Quick video there.
or if you don't have a pull-up uh, bar, we're gonna do a pike press, which is like a shoulder press, okay? But it's gonna be our body in a V position. So we're gonna use the dumbbells to heighten our, our uh, hand grip, all right, in a hand, a hand position. We're gonna come up onto our tiptoes, all right? So we're in an inverted position, and then we're going to do sort of like an inverted press here. And we're gonna double up from the pull-ups, and we're gonna do 10 of those, okay? The last one, okay, is a burpee deadlift, all right? Or a deadlift or a squat thrust, because I hate burpees, okay? But this one, we gotta make sure we move well, okay? We're gonna start in sort of a deadlift pull position, all right? So back straight, all right? Chest not too high so that I'm like arching, but just enough, all right? You get good tension on the, on the dumbbells, and we're gonna basically just jump out, jump into that position, and stand up. Put them down, mind your feet, jump in, stand up. Out, in, up, okay? Fairly simple, just make sure you move well through that one. Okay, a lot of the time when people get tired, we tend to sort of then just hike our bum in the air and pull with our upper back. Okay, we wanna make sure we get our bum down, okay? So it's kind of like we're squatting through there. All right, and we're gonna be doing 10 of those. So we're gonna complete three circuits of that, and then we've got two extra bonus exercises once we've done that, okay? Which we'll explain later in the video. Okay, so straight into round one, we're gonna start with our first exercise, our split stance RDLs in three, two, one, let's go. Here we go. Pick the weights up, set yourself up, and we've got six each side, nice and slow on the way down, hips extend before the knee extends, and back is nice and straight. Good, nice, six, not that many, but we got each leg. In terms of breathing, we want an inhale or a hold on the way down, and then an exhale as we come up. Good job, guys. And six, lovely, we've got eight renegade rows. So we push up, push up, eight push-ups, plus eight rows each side. One, two, three, excellent. Keep going. Whoopsie, did too many there. I've got a little extra bonus push-up. Keep going, guys. And eight. Wonderful, good. Excellent job, we've got a lateral lunge and pull. Six each side here. Lateral lunge and pull up towards your shoulders. Nice and explosive on the way back. Good. Five, six, lovely. Changing legs. One, two, three, four, five. Last one here. Six, excellent. If you've got that pull up available, go and get yourself done five pull ups if you need to. We're doing our pipe press. Here we go. Up on your tiptoes. One. Two. Oh, ten of these. Eight. Great job, guys. Keep going. Ten. Well done. And we've got our burpee deadlift to finish. 10 of these, here we go. Probably do this one with a little bit more weight than some of the others. So if you have time, you can change.
Keep it going, guys. Breathe. I'm gonna do two more because I've completely lost count. And rest. Great job. Good. So it takes about four minutes there. We're gonna rest up to 90 seconds. Okay. If you feel like 60 seconds is enough for you, then you can take off at 60. We're gonna take 90 seconds though. It's important that we maintain that technique throughout each movement. Okay, obviously if you're feeling like it's too easy at this point, you can always up the weights, but make sure you continue to move well. Great job and take a bit of a rest. So the exercises that you might feel you can go up on, the burpee deadlift, all right, and maybe the single, the split stance RDL. Okay, two lower body movements, whereas the renegade row, you might feel limited on there. There's always more strength in the lower body than the upper body, but see how you get on. And the lateral lunge and pull also, you might feel that you may be able to, get, may be able to go up, okay? Fantastic, We've got about 15 seconds until we start round two. Okay, 10 seconds. Get yourself in the zone. Get yourself in that mindset. Here we go. Three, two, one, and round two. Let's go. Shorter circuit today, but make sure we move well. Good, nice. Don't know why I'm doing seven there. Two, three, maybe it helps if I count aloud. Four, <laughs> five, keep it going guys. Six, nice. Still did seven, what's wrong with me? Okay, renegade row, eight reps. Here we go. One, remember two rows for every one push up. Oh, lovely. Five. Six, two to go. Seven. Eight, nice job. Set up the lateral lunge, straight into it. See if you can keep your hands on those dumbbells. One. Two. Good, don't forget that pull. Five, nice work. Six, switching sides. Arms and legs should be aching a bit. Here we go. Three. Four, really pull those elbows up. Five, here we go. Six, either into the pull up or the pipe press. Pick your weapon, here we go. Or your poison. Six. Nice job guys, keep going. 10, lovely. Here we go, squat thrust deadlift, or squat thrust squat. Make sure when you set your feet down, you're either side of the dumbbells. You don't want to be back here and then pulling as you'll wobble a bit. Keep going, jumping in, jumping out. Seven, great job. Eight. 
10 and rest. Excellent job, catch your breath. You've got 90 seconds on the clock. Deep breaths, when you're resting, it's really, really good to try and bring your heart rate back down really quickly, okay? So we do that by breathing in through our nose, trying to breathe in through our diaphragm, open up our rib cage a little bit. Excellent, we've got one more round. Okay, and then we've got the option of doing a few bonus exercises. Okay, which will be working our hamstrings and our core. So working our legs and our midsection. Really, really good guys. Keep up the energy. Got another 35 seconds left. Make sure your heart rate comes all the way back down. It's a good opportunity to try and bring it down. Excellent job. So we're going one more circuit through, starting with our split stance RDLs. We've got 15 seconds. Okay, remember this is an opportunity as well if you wanna change weights, okay? Adjust some things if we need to, okay? All right, here we go. Last round in three, two, one, and go. Keep it up, guys. Moving well, moving slowly. We should be feeling this in the back of the front leg. Weight should be going to the back of the heel on that front leg. Back foot stays on the forefoot. Six. Great job, we've got our push-up. Renegade row. Wide stance to keep yourself in state in stable position. Keep going, two more. Hey, nice job. Lateral lunge, here we go. Lateral lunge and pull. One. Nice job, not easy. Here we go, other side. Six, lovely. Pull up or pike press. Pick yours, you can always chop and change if you want. Here we go. Arms should be feeding this one. Ten, well done. Good. Deadlift squat thrust. Last exercise of the circuit. Here we go. Halfway. Last one of the day. Nice. Excellent job, guys. Really, really good effort. Okay? Grab yourself a rest. Grab yourself a drink. Excellent. And if you wanted to jump forward, 
If that's all you've got the energy for today, just jump forward to the cool down. If you want to stick around and get two extra exercises done, then grab a foam roller, a rolling pin if you don't have a foam roller, and we're going to go into a timed exercise, 30 seconds on the timer, all right, lying on our back, simple exercise here, you're going to place your forefoot on the roller, okay, not your toes and not your midfoot, just the forefoot, you're going to lie on your back, so you can see my knees are not completely straight, not all the way bent, a bit more than 90 degrees, about 45 degrees, maybe 30 degree bend. From here, we're going to raise up our heels. You can see that little heel raise. We're going to tuck under, pushing our lower back into the ground, lifting our tailbone off the floor. And from there, we're gonna lift, lift our hips up and hold. Now this you're gonna feel in your calves, in your hamstrings, in your glutes. You shouldn't feel it in your lower back, which is why we tilt underneath to mitigate that low back, back arch and to avoid it, okay? So, we're gonna get straight into it. First one, all right, I'll keep you updated with the time. Ready? Three, two, one, heels up, and go. Holding, 30 seconds. You might feel cramp wanting to set in. Make sure when you breathe, you're not sticking your chest out too much. You're actually tucking the rib cage down. Hold, keep lifting the heels. We've got 15 seconds. If cramp wants to come, ignore it. Push through it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. And relax down. Just move that out of the way. We've got a dead bug with a manual push. So traditional dead bug, arms up, feet up at 90 degrees. And we alternate, trying to keep our trunk from arching or pushing down. Okay, we're just gonna try and maintain our breathing into our upper diaphragm, but without pushing the lower back down into the ground. We're gonna take one hand, we're gonna place it on the opposite knee, keep the other arm and the other, other arm and the other leg free. We're gonna create a little bit of a battle here between this leg and this arm, and we're gonna push forward with the arm, at the same time push back with the leg. Okay, that's gonna create a lot of tension an activation in the core. As we're doing that, we're going to extend and lengthen our leg and our arm in opposite directions. The harder we push, the harder it is. And we're gonna go for 10. <sighs> Exhale when you extend out. Keep going, here we go, we can make a start. Well done. Eight, really feel this burn in the core. And 10, and switch. Excellent job. So opposite arm and opposite leg push. Two, nice work. Good. Keep taking nice deep breaths. Don't push your lower back into the ground. Great job, guys. Ten. Awesome, nice work. Okay, so we're gonna do one more round here, just at the roller, and then if you want, you can pause and just go for an optional round, or you can reverse the video and just run through a third set if you really want before going into our cool down. So straight into it, no rest this time. Okay, here we go. Heels up on the roller, forefoot into the, in, into the roller, heels up, tuck the pelvis underneath and lift with timing starts. The time has started. The time will start, the time has started. Let's get into position, here we go. Hold, 10 seconds gone. Keep raising those heels. Keep lifting the hip, but avoid arching the back. Hold, here we go. 10 seconds left. Push through any cramp that you might be getting. 
hold, three, two, one, and relax down, good. Great job, guys. We've got one more set of our dead bug with a manual push. Here we go. Opposite arm pushes into the opposite leg. Create that tension, and we're going 10 in and out. Nice and slow, the slower the better. More time under tension, more opportunity for us to develop strength. Good, so we're tapping the thumb down and heel down at the same time. Being aware for any movement in the lower back, any arching or pushing down. Just hold that stable position. Good, I'm gonna do one more, because I have no idea what I'm on. Keep going, make sure you count for yourself. Last one here. Great job, guys. And 10, lovely. Okay. So that's the session, all right? If you wanna pause and go through one more round, you have that option. If you wanna finish it up there, all right, we're gonna just go through a simple few stretches to cool down. So we're gonna grab the back of our leg, back of our hamstring, pull the toe up to your knee, extend up, hold for a few seconds. You'll feel a nice stretch going back at the back side of your leg. Don't try and straighten it completely. It might not do that. If it does, that's all right. Hold it for a couple of seconds at the top and then bring it down. Just gonna do a couple of these here. Now is when you wanna kind of bring your heart rate down. It's probably lowered quite a bit compared to what it was doing in the circuit. But use this opportunity to just bring your heart rate back down. All right, try and bring your nervous system back into more of a parasympathetic rest and digest state. Lovely, you can bring that leg across your body, keep the shoulders on the floor. <sighs> Take a couple of deep breaths and really try and target your mid and upper back here. <sighs> awesome, nice, switching sides. Excellent, and for our last stretch, just a nice hip stretch. Walk your knees out. Let's get your shins in line with your knees and your heels, and then just drop down onto your forearms here, and you can rock back and forth. Just a nice, deep, internal hip stretch. So really working those, that, that groin, adductor area. And relax. Fantastic, so that is workout two. All right, really good job uh, getting through today. And I will see you in workout three. All right, all the best.